When your enemy come, let him find your faith built on a solid rock. When the wind come, let it find your faith built on a solid rock. When pain come, let it find already your faith has been built on a solid rock. When the world comes to face the child of God, let it find already your faith has been built on your solid rock. away my sins nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus oh precious is the flow that makes me white as snow no other fount I know Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Brethren, in my message today, I want to talk about staying strong in your faith during difficult season, staying strong in your faith during hardships, and staying strong in your faith during a storm. And before I proceed into our message today, thank you so much for joining Inspiration the Right. I hope and trust that you're well, for you're watching me from, and God has kept you. My returning subscribers, welcome. My new subscribers, welcome. If you're watching me for the first time, welcome. My name is Truth. I'm born again. Jesus Christ is my personal savior. And here I share the word of God. I motivate you, I inspire you, and I also help women become better versions of themselves through the word of God. So if this sounds like a content that a lot consume, I'm going to encourage you kindly proceed and support this ministry by subscribing to this channel down below here and join this growing family to the glory and honor of God. And also remember to put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you're always among the first people to be notified. I'm also going to encourage you anytime you visit this channel, kindly go back to previous messages and watch them. Trust me, your spirit is going to be inspired and you're going to be motivated to the glory and honor of God. Child of God, God is good all the time and all the time, God is good and that is his nature. As you have read from the title down below here, today I'm talking about staying strong in your faith in difficult seasons. Some of you will say staying strong in a storm or staying strong in difficult seasons. It's important for you to understand as a believer, God did not promise us that because you're born again, life is going to be smooth. But God promised us that He is going to be with us in every step and He is going to be beside us in every difficult moment. Yes, He recognizes that it's not going to be all that smooth. But one thing that God has promised us and God has assured us that in every season, in every situation, that He is going to be with us. If you read the word of God in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, if you have the word of God with you, kindly open with me the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. The word of God says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let me tell you a bit of my story. And I want you to gain strength. From my story before I got born again I had allowed fear to overtake my life fear ruled my life I'll say the years I've lived out of salvation fear has always overtaken my life and I've lived my life in fear but I'll stand here and say the best gift that God has ever given me in salvation is that God has taken away my fear and God has given me a strong mental state. God withdrew away my fear the moment I got born again. And God replaced my fear with a strong mental strength. Strong mental strength. Child of God, being born again is not enough. But having a strong mental state is what you require 
as a born again Christian. We need to raise a generation that is not just born again, but a generation that is strong in mental, a generation that is mentally strong. I always say small challenges should not draw you away from God. If small challenges draw away you from God, then you have not developed a strong mental state. Jesus has promised us that it's not going to be easy. But one thing he has promised us in the word of God is that he is with us even in that storm. He is with us even in that calamity. God is with us. The word of God clearly says in the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, Do not fear for I am with you. I am with you in that storm. I am with you in that situation. So do not fear. So as a believer, as a child of God, you need to draw your strength from this because challenges will always be there. I've always shared on this platform, human beings, you're wired to be solving problems every day. And we solve them every day by the grace of God. Praise Jesus. The word of God says in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 24, build your faith on a solid rock so that when the wind comes, when the rain comes, your faith will not be swayed away because you've built your faith on a solid rock. Because trust me, the wind will come. Your faith will be tested. The world will test your faith. The world will ask you, show us your God. The world will come laughing at you, asking you questions. As a born again Christian, as a child of God, build your faith on a solid rock. When the world comes, start asking you questions. Let them find already you have built your faith on a solid rock. Child of God, it is not going to be easy. Temptations are there. Problems are there. Challenges are there. You cannot avoid challenges. They always come. But trust me, child of God, there is nothing new under the sun. Whoever lives in you is more powerful than the one that lives in the world. Let me tell you one thing. One thing I've come to realize, my own personal life in this journey of faith, in this journey of working with God, I've come to realize that every challenge has a solution. And anytime I face a challenge, anytime I face a struggle, anytime I face a difficult season in my life, I counter with the Word of God. Because in the Word of God, there are promises that God has promised us. God has promised us a future. So anytime the enemy comes, kindly counter with the word of God. Gain your strength from the word of God. Check in the word of God what God is saying about that issue. If it's financial challenge, then counter with the word of God. What is God saying about my challenge? What is God saying about this season? Always counter with the word of God. And let me tell you one thing, child of God, any challenge, any obstacle we ever go through, we always come out stronger in our faith and we always come out to better people to the glory and honor of God. Kindly open with me in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Open with me, Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. The word of God says, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. One thing as a believer you need to know today that God is with you. I've always shared on this platform the worst that can happen during the storm either God is going to calm his child or God is going to calm the storm. So even within the storm you should not fear because God is with you. God has never left his people. God has never left his child. God has never forsaken his child even during a storm. God is always with that during every step, during every storm. It's important for you as a believer, as a child of God, as a born again Christian, to draw your faith in the word of God. To draw your faith in the word of God. To draw your faith in the scripture. And to build your faith on a solid rock. 
What the devil does, the devil tries to send signals your way to test your faith, to test how strong you are in the word of God. But trust me, I want to encourage you as a believer, if you believe in God, I want to encourage you today, stay strong in your faith. Stay strong in your faith even when it is difficult. Do not compromise your faith. Do not compromise your faith with the sorcerers. Do not compromise your faith with magicians. Do not compromise your faith with the world because the world will come and the world will come asking you questions and they'll tell you, show us your God. Show us your God. Let us see your faith where your faith is. Child of God, stand firm in your faith and put on the full armor of God. Once you put on the full armor of God, trust me, the enemy has no choice but to detach from you. The word of God tells us in the book of Ephesians 6, verse 10, the word of God says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the full arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. For we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers of darkness, against rulers of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Put on the full armor of God. Be strong and courageous in God. Be strong and courageous in God. Once you put on the full arm of God, then be strong and courageous in God. He is your father. Child of God, if you're watching me right now and you're about to drop your faith, you don't understand how God is going to do it. If you're watching me right now and you're tired and you don't know how God is going to take you through that storm, leave it to God because he is the battle fighter. Your work is not to understand how God is going to do it. Your work is not to understand how he's going to do it, child of God. He says in his word in the book of Matthew, chapter 11, 28, come to me. I'm going to give you rest. Come to me and bring all your burdens to me because I'm going to give you rest, child of God. Your work is not to understand how he's going to do it. Just come to Jesus and he's going to give you rest. Come to Jesus with your burden, and he's going to give you rest, child of God. Call upon the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus, child of God. Call upon the name of Jesus. God is saying right now, do not fear. Do not dump your faith because of challenges of the world. Challenges make us stronger. Challenges make our life beautiful. Challenges take us to the next level. There is power in our pain, child of God. There is power in our challenges. There is power in our pain. Take that pain positively, child of God, and move to the next level, to the glory and honor of God. Do not allow challenges overtake you. Live above those challenges, child of God. Do not allow signals of the devil to overtake you, child of God. Build a strong mental state and move to the next level and move to your greatness child of God and build your faith in God and build your faith on a solid rock when the wind comes when the rains come when the storm comes let them find your faith has already been built on a solid rock child of God God has not promised us an easy life he has not promised us because you're born again you're not going to encounter challenges child of God but trust me Turn those challenges into something beautiful. Turn that pain into something beautiful, child of God. Challenges will strengthen you. Pain will strengthen you, child of God. And pain will move you to the next level, to the glory and honor of God. When pain comes, when trials comes, when challenges come, child of God, let them find your faith has already been built on a solid drug. Thank you so much for being here. I hope and trust that you have learned something from this message today. And let your takeaway home be today. Let your faith be built on a solid foundation. And my prayer to today is that may God give you the grace. May God shower you with the grace of courage. May God grace you with boldness in his word to the glory 
and Horn of God. And I'm going to encourage you if you're here and you have not supported this ministry, kindly support this growing family by subscribing to this channel down below here and kindly remember to put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you're always among the first people to be notified. God bless you and until next time, goodbye.